Uh, it's been a good couple weeks if you're Daredevil fans, because um, if you're a fan of rumors, if you're a fan of rumors that <laughs> I, I guess more and more people are now just like, well, this is this is gonna be true. We we are just gonna go with that. So um, I guess let's talk about what's been said recently. So it sounds like Daredevil characters are making their way back into the MCU, specifically tied in between the upcoming Spider-Man and the upcoming Hawkeye series, where they're going to split the duties. You're going to get Murdoch over on Spider-Man, and then you're getting Kingpin over with whatever they're doing with Clint. So, what do you make of this? I think it's just another drop in the where's a Netflix character going to appear this week. Oh, oh. Because let's face it, ever since the whole Daredevil in No Way Home rumors, there's been a, literally every week. Every week. Daredevil's yeah. in this, Daredevil's in that, Daredevil's in this. Oh, guess what? Daredevil's in that. <laughs> yeah. Daredevil gets around. <laughs> it's just like, it's going to be a bloodbath when these things don't turn to be true. Oh. Now, I do want If wanna... they don't turn to be true, I should say. Yeah. Big if. So I, I do want to kind of bring that up. Now, the vocal fans that care about Daredevil are the ones that watch the Netflix series and want it. When I talk to some of the casual people that like come over to my house or people at like the gym or whatever, they never really saw Daredevil. They have no real attachment to Daredevil. Like, for them, whether Daredevil appears or not is not a deciding factor in anything. They're just like, oh, yeah, more Marvel comment. So, like, do you think that maybe some of these... Reports are just coming in to service the fanboys who keep demanding he's in everything, and the casuals are just like, oh, like, because it's not really going to matter to the casual whether Daredevil or Kingpin appear in anything, right? Like, probably, probably, because more often than not, it's just either the sites wanting wanting their guests to be right than actual fans saying, oh, I really want Daredevil to be in this movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, and I mean. If you compare the views that Daredevil got on Netflix compared to, you know, the other stuff that's out there, people weren't really watching Daredevil as much as they're watching the other MCU stuff. So yeah, but I, that's a different time and a different landscape. Yeah, you know, when did when did Daredevil start? Like five, six years ago at this mm -hmm. point. Yep. Plus, so like it's a di different time. You know, streaming's bigger now. More yeah, and, bigger. Um... And, and it's not being all released, so you can't binge watch it. You have to actually watch it one at a time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it can't just die off in two weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I think he's – they're absolutely going to show up somewhere. It's just the question of where. Is it going to be in No Way Home? I I, uh, I said it before. I, it's a tough buy for me. I don't That's the hardest how. one for me. If like, it's – Can, can yeah. pin, if they were to, if Kingpin or Daredevil were to appear in Hawkeye, that literally makes sense with the usage of Echo, the Eastern European yeah, crime syndicates. Yeah. Like that's literally what they do in the comics is interact with those characters. Now, Spider Man, you're just like, okay, so Spider Man has 38 main characters to follow in a two hour film. Yeah. Hmm. Let's toss Daredevil in there. Okay. Um. It's like, I know the whole thing is, oh, it's just in the courtroom scene, but it's, I mean, cool, but kind of pointless. Like, if, you, if you're bringing Daredevil back, you focus on him a little bit. Yeah, and who is uh, that for then? Because the average consumer of these products that doesn't have any connection to Daredevil is going to be like, a blind lawyer? Oh, you think that's that Ben Affleck? Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that, that's it. That's all you wait. Right. It's, all it's going to be if he is in No Way Home, it's going to be exactly the same as Jarvis in Endgame. Yeah. It's like, yeah, well, why, do I get the, why do I get the feeling that you have uh, a more a percent, a more of a percentage of Jennifer showing up in No Way No Way Home more than? <laughs> I mean, it no makes sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. Right. it's like here it goes. There's Daredevil, and Jennifer um, shows up. Um, what makes more sense for Daredevil to show up? She Hulk. Oh, mm -hmm. two lawyers. We have two lawyer characters we can use. There you go. Bang. Yeah. I mean, you hit that one literally perfectly. It's... It, I just don't know... Kingpin and Hawkeye, is, for me, is, is whatever. If he shows up, cool. Uh, I'm 
uh, I'm not buying it right now, but yeah, because like it, it's like it's cool because like it, you know it's Kingpin. He has his hands and everything, so yeah. t- t- so technically he could show up in anything. Mm-hmm. Well, so he would probably have the episode to himself, so he can actually have an introduction again to that character and get to know what he's like now. So well, I, I yeah. would assume they do it how they did it exactly in Daredevil. He's introduced at the end of one episode, and then the next episode you open it up and give us some of his motivations and where he stands in this world and then you kind of shift back and Mm. to me that would honestly make sense Uh, like again kingpin to me seems way more fitting to appear in anything before daredevil just by the virtue of where you can throw him in and what you do with him and d'onofrio I mean, he's even went around and liked a couple of those posts stating he's in it. Yeah, so like, I'm, yeah. I'm not fine. <laughs> yeah. I can see that purely being trolling. Uh, it's... Uh, hopes are high. P- people are writing high on this, and here's the thing that's going to happen. <laughs> if he's not in Hawkeye... We're getting back to the WandaVision backlash scenario, where there's no Magneto, I'm mad now. Oh. oh, yeah, and the thing oh. is, it's always going to be the studio's fault, never the people re- reporting these rumors' fault. Never the 100% confirmed, I know it, here it is, I'm the source mm. of it, yeah, yeah, it's always no, 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 it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's It's from my source, not from me, so don't get mad at me. I'm just <laughs> going by what my source says. I mean, I will say, before that news hit, I literally got a message from someone that was like, hey, there's things happening with Kingpin. Specifically, D'Onofrio, somebody might talk about it soon. I was like, all right, I don't know what, what you're talking about, but sure. And then like 12-ish <laughs> hours later, that hit. I was like, well, this has to be it at this point. Like, it, yeah, it just has yeah. to be. Um, So, I don't know. Like, it could be one of those scenarios where even, and we're seeing this a lot now with Marvel Studios. Like, some of the scenes in Black Widow that they recorded on just a small square of blue and green. And you're like... Wait, they weren't in that location? They were literally not at that gas station talking to each other? Like, they were just in front of a blue screen? Like, you would never know. Um, so for- Yeah, for like, for like those, like, you'd have to actually, cause from what I've seen, you'd actually have to focus on that scene to yeah. kind of see that it's not there. <laughs> right, so there is a real scenario where, like the WandaVision Halloween thing, they could have just brought D'Onofrio in or even went to his house, masked it with a good lighting kit and a green screen, recorded his scenes, they're like, all right, don't tell anybody. And if this works, we'll shove it in there, and we'll never know. True, you know. But like, you, you get like the whole thing with Cox in No Way Home, and people are like, "Oh, he's been spotted on set. We haven't got a picture, but he's been spotted." It's just like, yeah. if you spot him on a set, you're clearly looking out for something. You have a camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even if you don't, everyone <laughs> yeah. has a camera. It's, in there. Yeah, it's it's yeah. Faggy that oh, has a standee of him taking it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I would love like that. Every, and like everyone now is going, oh, he cancelled his convention for No Way Home reshoots. And it's like he cancelled his convention for a last minute filming conflict. Like, doesn't say for what. Yeah. We're all just assuming it's a No Way Home because of the rumors. It could be for literally anything. Guess what's filming right now? She Hulk. Yeah, that's true. No too. one's yep. mentioned that. Like, well, that's not the one people different. are excited for right now. That's the thing, exactly. right? So <laughs> that's not the one people have been built up and expected to see him in. So mm-hmm. gotta ignore that. And even, you know, it might not even be for a Marvel thing. Like, everyone's just purely assuming. Like he's no doubt he's got some other stuff going on. But no, he's he's been sitting by his phone just waiting for Papa Kevin's call. <laughs> that picture of him with a cup of tea. He's been literally been sitting there for the last four years. <laughs> He's just like withering away, be like, Call me Kevin. One day. He actually has now gone blind from oh. wearing that mask that much. Oh. oh amazing. Brother our own continuity of what's been happening with Charlie Cox. It's amazing. I mean <laughs> I do really hope that, you know, he is back and we can I all... have no doubt that they're back. There's absolutely yeah. no way in my mind they're not bringing those characters back. They are yeah. absolutely coming back. Where is the problem? Yeah. Oh, it, 
it, they're not coming back in the project that they want them to come back in. That's yeah. why I'm like, you're probably seeing She-Hulk more than Spider-Man, so I don't know why you're getting I, mad. <laughs> I, I said it from the moment the No Way Home rumor came out. The timeline doesn't add up. He would, apparently he filmed his scenes. It's like, well, they couldn't use him at that point. Yeah. So how? I mean, the only thing is, it's like, and as we've said before, the only scenario would be if Kevin Feige was so sly that he was like, hey, Sony, you really want Daredevil in this. Why don't you pay the ten million dollars and buy out that Netflix time contract and put him in your movie because fans really want it and Kevin Feige might just be able to pull that off because Sony's stupid enough to do it so they can use him again I mean we don't know but that's such a hard buy that Sony would be like oh, I say yeah. Sony ain't doing that exactly <laughs> right They're like it's ah uh, it, the conflict I mean, I mean you never know they, they put up a full movie instead of a preview <laughs> mm. that's true but at the end of the day, it's one of those was like, if he shows up in everything that people have been saying, great, fantastic, I love it. If not, no skin of my nose. If he shows up in everything people have reported, he will look at Samuel L. Jackson's nine movie contract at ten, across ten years and be like, bro, I did that in three months. What now? <laughs> like, and that's a, that's a good thing you brought that up. People, when the whole Kingpin news dropped, someone tweeted, oh, there's they, you know, got him for years, a massive contract. And it's like they literally just said they're not really doing that anymore. <laughs> Obviously, it's, 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 like, it's going to vary, so they might do it, they might not. But it's just like, guys, like, just read the room. 